Good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. This is Rich again, back for your second video blog of the day for Tuesday, March 8, 2016, around 5.36 in the afternoon in Dulleca, Massachusetts. Nice and sunny day out. Highs in the 50s. Tomorrow's record-breaking warmth, 70, and the rest of the week will be in the 50s with maybe some rain showers, no snow in sight. Some news to report. The Boston Red Sox beat the Baltimore Orioles by a score of 5-1 to one in preseason action. WrestleMania 33 is going to be in Orlando, Florida. Second time that WrestleMania is going to be in Orlando, Florida. I can't wait. Hopefully, Julie Broughton is at WrestleMania 33, facing off against Stephanie McMahon with good old JR, the special guest referee. Um, I think if that ever happened, JR would be biased to Julie Broughton. But that's, that's a long shot at best. Also, the WWE is going to have a physical Hall of Fame in Orlando, Florida, in Universal Studios, Florida, where the old NBA City restaurant used to be. And big news! It just came a wire! Chipotle's in Bellica, Massachusetts has been shut down temporarily because a couple of workers got a virus. And this is not good. And also, Urgent Care Cir um, Circle Health for Lowell General Hospitals coming to the Treble Cove Plaza in September. And Brian Anderson and Steve Smith are the number two play-by-play -play team of NCAA's March Madness for CBS Sports and T and T and TBS and True TV. So congratulations to Brian Anderson and Steve Smith. And that's about it on the news. My second video blog subject of the day is about the dark period for Game Show Network uh, that lasted from October 13th, 1997 through April 20th, 1998. The dark period in Game Show Network was when Game Show Network lost the rights to all Goodson Todman game shows except for The Price is Right and the 1994-1995 version of Family Feud hosted by Richard Dawson. Game Show Network was launched in December 1st, 1994, and the bulk of its programming at first were reruns of classic TV game shows from the Goodson Todman Library, like Card Sharks and Match Game and Blockbusters and Family Feud, and now you see it in Trivia Trap and Double Dare and Beat the Clock and What's My Line and To Tell the Truth and others. And actually, it, they um Sony Pictures, who own Game Show Network, and all American Television, which eventually became Fremantle, had a five year contract with Game Show Network to lease the Goodson Todman Library when it was launched. But there was some out clause for, for, for the contract that, could have, that took place in the third year. And this is when Game Show Network was not in many homes and they were trying to get into more homes. And when they lost the rights to Goodson Todman Library in October of 1997, that really set Game Show Network back. They needed to rely on classic game shows that were short-lived game shows in the Sony Picture Studio Library which they were owned, they owned lot like the Merv Griffin, Griffin Library, the Jack Berry and Dan Anwright Library, the Chuck Barris Library, and the Bob Stewart Library of game shows. And most of the schedule on GSN from October um, 1997 through April of 1998, was showed a lot of reruns of such classic game shows as The Joker's Wild, Tic-Tac-Doe, Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, The Dating Game, The Newlywed Game, The Gone Show, and 
and, and also the Price is Right and 1994-1995 version of Family Feud. Plus, in addition, during the dark period, they had to uh, open up the vault for shorter-lived classic game shows like Chain Reaction and Pass the Buck and Double Talk and Break the Bank and Bullseye and Play the Percentages and Ruckus and Headline Chases and so, so many other game shows and sometimes they would have to rerun these these shows many times a day because they were smaller in qu qual quantity with episodes and the Goodson Todman Library was big for game show network and also they had to have like um I'm like interactive games rely heavily on internet active games during this time period in the winter of 1998, Game Show Network started showing paid programming so they could raise enough money to get back the Goodson Todman Library. And a lot of um, viewers complained about Game Show Network about not showing the whole Goodson Todman Library. And it, it was a very dark period for Game Show Network. But they negotiated it with Pearson Television, which eventually became Fremantle Television. And by the spring of 1998, um, they signed a contract for four years to re regain the rights to, to, to the Goodson Todman Library. And on April 20th, 1998, the dark period of Game Show Network was over when reruns of card sharks and match game and family feud and to tell the truth and what's my line and I got a secret and password password plus super password tattletales and other goods and Todman game shows came back on the air on GSN and they were on the air for GSN in reruns for many many years into 2009 when Fremantle and GSN's contract to show the entire Goods and Todman library expired, but they leased certain game shows for um, periods for GSN. And what did I think about the dark period of Game Show Network? It was not a very good time. I didn't get Game Show Network back in back then, but it, 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 it kind of set Game Show Network back trying to get more and more homes with, with the with like not having the most of the good St. Todman library. And this is a time period where niche um, cable networks were real, real big. And that's changed now because most, most of the cable networks need original programming in order to be relevant. And that's about it on the dark period on Game Show Network. The third and final video blog of the night's coming up. Tonight, it will be about my personality the profile, tonight's personality profile will be about um, WBZ Television Weekend um, Weather Lady, Pamela Gardner. Keep calm, everybody! I'm a Julie Brennan guy, Molly Roseblood of WCCO, Roxanne has nice legs, Elizabeth Hart, so, so stunning, she's the best. Amy Swensey, Roxanne, she has uh, nice legs. Bobby Gibbs of ABC 11 has a sweet southern accent. And in the words of David Crockett, former Mid-Atlantic wrestling announcer, what a fabulous man of an... Oh, sorry, we're out of time. And we're out of time for this video blog for right now. I'll be back tonight. Bye now.